Hi everyone, this is Becca from Becca's Music Room. I'm a teacher who talks about teacher tips, teacher life, teacherpreneurs, and all things that might help make your life hopefully just a little bit easier. Today we're gonna have just a little bit of a chit chatty video where we talk about some of my favorite things that I have been loving during the spring. These items will include teacher tips, teacher life, and teacherpreneurs, but I'm not gonna do it quite in that order. I'm gonna switch it just a little bit to flow a little bit better. So I'm gonna start with teaching things and then I'll do some teacherpreneur things and then I have some that are just kind of in the lifestyle category that you may be interested in. So stick around. All right, first up is my teaching items. So I'm gonna be totally honest, I was not planning to actually film this video this weekend, so I did not bring my stuff home, but I will insert a picture of everything that I'm talking about so that you can see what I mean. Um, for reference, it is April. I get out in three more weeks because it's now the end of April when I'm filming this. So what I'm saying now might be totally different from what I'm going to say at the beginning of the year. We have been testing. I have been traveling to teachers rooms for three weeks on end. So the things that I'm talking about are going to be things that I can do like in their classrooms and all that kind of stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you have heard all of these things. And by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. So make sure you go do that. My first teaching item is my cart. I have talked about this. I have a whole blog post about it. I love my cart. I have a great cart. It's one of those three tiered ones. I got it from Target, but they also sell it on Amazon and on Michaels and Ikea and like all the different places. I will link one down below for you. And I love it. I even have my husband get some vinyl that says my name so that on both sides it says Miss Davis, which is nice. It normally sits in the front of my classroom and it is fabulous. I put everything on it. So my seating chart goes on there. My iPad goes on there. Everything goes on there because I used to lose things all the time. And I'm sure you can relate. Like you just set something down and then you're in the middle of the lesson and you're like, where did I put that? I don't know. I don't know where it is. And then you have this like awkward time. And in the meantime, someone starts punching each other. So my solution to this has been my magic gray rolling cart. It is wonderful because if I'm standing in the back, I can roll it to the back with me. If I'm going to a classroom, I can roll it there with me, but it keeps my seating chart, my iPad, my pencils, my pens, my nurse passes, my rewards like our ticket systems and our marshmallows for when the ticket system is not cutting it anymore it keeps everything i need on like a normal daily basis when i am traveling to classrooms especially during testing season i stick everything on there to come with me and it can hold so much stuff so much stuff like a whole day's worth of lesson stuff on there and it is amazing so if you do not have one i highly recommend it you could of course just use like a table but then you can't like roll it with you to the other classrooms now if you don't have the problem then cool for you good job um but i am often in the teacher's classroom so i need something that can come with me now during this springtime spring fever um i try to incorporate a lot of movement activities into my lessons so one of my favorite things to do this will not be a shock one of my favorite things is using the scarves i love them my kids love them even the fifth graders love them like they ask me to use them because they love them they are so much fun you can use scarves to do a whole bunch of different things i'll link a couple blog posts down below so that this video doesn't get too super long, um, but they are amazing. I use them to show contour in music. So while we're singing, sometimes we just go high and low along with it. We keep the steady beat. We put the steady beat different places. Um, we use them to show form a lot. So we'll listen to a song and we'll do different actions with them. And it is just like amazing. If you don't have them, you need them. That is like the number one thing I would say that you need in your classroom is scarves. And if you do not have Artie Almeida's book, Scarves and Ribbons and Parachutes, or Parachutes and Ribbons and Scarves, something like that, I'll link it down below. Get that, because it is the bomb. I've used almost every lesson in there so far. My next item, these are music teacher things, sorry. If you're not a music teacher, I will move on soon. My next item is plastic castanets. I love these. I just got a whole bunch of them from West Music in a few different colors. I'll put a picture in here. 
and they are amazing. We have been using them to keep the steady beat. We've been doing activities with form. I will link one down below for you. That is super, super fun. We did it with second and third grade, did a song Breezes Are Blowing, and we use them to show form. We use it to play rhythms. We use them to do literacy things. Like they are so much fun and they are durable and they're colorful. And it's just really exciting to have like an unpitched percussion that every student can use at the same time time so that has been really exciting i already had the egg shakers and so now i have at least you know like egg shakers rhythm sticks castanets like three different options so it's been really wonderful i've been using them in like every single class this past month or two or three i don't know all right my next thing is a book if you have been on my instagram i have been raving about how much i love this book i taught my kids a song called cuckoo it's an echo song and it's super, super cute. And it's just so and me, which makes it really, really easy to do. I think I'm gonna do a whole video about like this lesson in particular so that you can get a little more context. And when I was traveling to classrooms, I couldn't do the lesson I had planned to do with all my kids. So I took a song that we did at the beginning of the year, TikTok, which has a cuckoo, cuckoo, so me pattern in it. And I did the cuckoo song and I put them together with this book called Cuckoo. And it is a Spanish folk tale talking about the cuckoo bird um, and how it like turns into a crow at the end. And it's super cute. It has a nice message for the kids to like look on the inside instead of the outside. And it's really fun. So we just read through and every time it said cuckoo, even in the middle of a sentence, I would stop and I would sing it and they would repeat it. So it would be like, and then, and I can't remember the actual words, but it would say something like, and then cuckoo, and they'd say cuckoo. And then I would keep reading the words and it was really fun. It kept them engaged really they really liked it And then we like drew pictures of cuckoo birds super cute super simple My last thing in the teacher well really music teacher section of this video is Beth's music notes if you have not found this website I don't know how you've been functioning like truly so it's called Beth's Music Notes. I think it's .com, but I will link it down below just to make sure that I get the correct thing. She has so many folk songs on there. Like every folk song I have ever thought of, I have found on there. Anything I've found in a book, like I have found on there. And she has all these resources. She has them linked. So for example, I was doing some lesson planning and I was like, I need one more So Me song. So I went to her website and I clicked on So Me songs and it was this huge list of songs to teach So and Me. And she has them by holiday and by country and by all these different things. And it is so, so wonderful. You can also become a premium member and you get like some extra things which is super super awesome um but i use it all the time free seriously highly highly recommend with that i'm going to move on to the teacherpreneur section this is going to be pretty short so if you're not a teacherpreneur then just hang on a few minutes um the first thing i want to talk about is some clip art teacherpreneurs love their clip art and I love my clip art. Um, if you have seen my TPT shop, then you'll know I have a ton of matching games. So I do matching games for recorder and for rhythm and for piano and for all these different things and I do them for different seasons. So I have snowmen and I have hearts and I have shamrocks and I have puzzle pieces which are good at any time. And so for this summer, I found two things of clip art from the same person and I honestly couldn't decide which one I liked better. So I just bought them both. <laughs> um, so it is Silly O Designs and she just has like the cutest stuff. Um, I have some popsicles that are matching ones. Like you can cut them out and match things. And then I also got some ice cream cones and I love, love, love ice cream. So that was like really exciting for me. Um, so I printed them out. Her stuff, everything I've seen so far has come in color and in black and white, which is something I always look for in my clip art because I know a lot of people myself included only print on black and white so um so I have like these are some of the examples of ice cream cones it came with a ton ton of colors and so I have like seven or eight different colors for them um and then it also had it in black and white like just totally awesome like I just have been so excited like they've been they're really reasonably priced, super, super cute. I plan to go and buy some more of her stuff in the future. My second and final teacherpreneur thing is a website called canva.com. If you are not using Canva, you need to. I use it for 
everything. I have used it since I very first started my blog a year and a half ago to create Pinterest graphics number and Facebook graphics and stuff like that. I use it now for those things as well as making my square covers on TPT, which is really important. It's super easy and I use it for everything really truly I use it to make pretty PDFs sometimes I use it to just do all those kind of things like it's very easy to use it is free there is a paid version but I have gone a whole year and a half and not needed the paid version so you're probably okay and it is just absolutely wonderful on there I have made templates for each of my different things so like my Pinterest things my blog post things my TPT things like all those kind of things so that I literally just have to like go in there change a few words change the pictures and like good to go um doing all the graphics for my blog used to take me like hours and now it takes me probably 10 to 15 minutes to make like four different graphics so highly recommend even if you're not a teacherpreneur you could still use it to make like pdfs or different things for your students Moving on to our lifestyle section. I'm super excited for this because I've gotten some new things that I have been in love with. So number one are Pura Vida bracelets. My husband discovered these. I think he saw them in a um, Ryan Serhan vlog. He's like a real estate agent. He's on a million dollar listing um, and my husband just loves him. And so he was wearing them. So my husband looked them up and we have subsequently bought a lot of them. I recently got a new order like recently like yesterday so I wanted to make sure I shared these because I love them so much um these are like the original bracelets they have different I'll show you a little bit better they have different like threads they're different colors and they have all these different ones and a lot of them are for specific charities so like my husband just bought one that is for diabetes and they donate a portion of the proceeds to diabetes research and they have lots of different ones like that and on top of that they employ a bunch of like small town artisans so they're founded out of costa rica they have tons of small artisans from costa rica making bracelets they also have some other like nicer jewelry not just these fun little bracelets although i do really like them and they're very 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 affordable too so i now have four let's see if i can pull these off so you can see i'm wearing two of them i don't like to wear like a whole huge stack of bracelets on my wrist but i do like some of them so i have let's see all right so i have this is the original pura vida one it's like just a bunch of different colors this one is something about arctic i'll look it up to make sure i give you the right one but it supports um penguin and polar bear this one is called good vibes and it's just really pretty it's like purple and blue and super super cute and then this one is called um, coral reef in and it is like a green and a blue and really really awesome so i wore the coral reef in and the good vibes today they don't match the outfit i'm wearing but it's one of those things where it's like you can wear them even if they don't match and then what i'm really excited about even more than the bracelets are the earrings that i got so they are super super cute they are these little wave earrings. They come in gold and silver and they have like a matching ring and a matching necklace. But I just got the earrings to make sure I was gonna like them first and I am planning on going ahead and doing some more. So I will link all of those things down below. Also, if you use the code BeccaDavis20 at checkout, you can get 20% off and that is like an anytime that you buy them thing. So really highly recommend. They have both casual things and like a little bit nicer looking things and I just absolutely am in love with this brand. It's like my new favorite thing. As far as clothes go, you're gonna see this a lot in my next, in my May outfits video, but I have been obsessed with light pink and with yellow. I have always liked those colors, but it's been like to a different degree this spring. I've just been like totally obsessed. So specifically like this jumpsuit that I'm wearing right now is super, super cute. It's pink and white striped, it has a little bow and it has pockets and it is just so cute. Um, I love, love, love the color. That was the thing that really attracted me to it in the first place. I bought it off Amazon for like $25 because you know I hate spending money. So there's that. Um, just really cute. I'm loving the pink and I'm also loving yellow. So this was my Easter dress. It is a maxi dress from Target and it is just like this gorgeous bright yellow color. It has like a little belt on it 
and I am just in love with the color. The yellow and the pink light is just is so like fresh and springy to me. So I've been wearing that in lots of different iterations with my clothes and my shirts and my shoes and just everything. And that actually brings me to my next thing because I've been obsessed with the pink and I have also been obsessed specifically with some pink pearls. Now, don't close out of the video because I feel like people think a lot of times like pearls are these like super fancy things they could never afford. And that's not necessarily true. So pearls start from like super, 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 super cheap and get to like ridiculously expensive. But you can get some that are very, very nicely priced. So these are actually things I have gotten in the past, but I love them anyway. Um, these are some earrings from Elle Florence, who is a YouTuber and she also has a pearl business. And you can see even my like nails are like pink. <laughs> she has a pearl business and also a fashion design business that she just launched where she does like scarves and sweaters. Um, so I've been wearing those earrings and this necklace like all the time. I'm trying to like get it so that you can see it with my dark hair. It like stands out and this necklace all the time. Um, they have, they're like pink pearls. They're super, super cute. Um, but they're not like in your face pearls. I feel like sometimes if I wear just like a pearl necklace, then it looks a little bit more expensive than I want it to um because I work at a school in a very low income neighborhood so I don't want to look like I'm you know like oh look at all the money even though the necklace the, one of my pearl necklaces like my mom made and it was like ten dollars um but yeah again so definitely different prices these both of these are um what I would consider to be like jewelry store prices so they're not really crazy expensive but they are a little bit of an investment I think they're worth it because I wear them all the time. Like I probably wear each of these at least once a week, probably more than that a lot because I just like am obsessed, love them. I also have these earrings in white. So I have them in white as well and I wear them a lot for concerts in white because I do sing in a choir. I absolutely love those and I will link them down below. I don't get anything from you buying them or not buying them, but I just want to throw it out there. If that is a little bit too expensive, a cheaper way to get them is actually on Amazon. Um, if you've seen my outfit videos, I'm always linking pearl earrings on Amazon. I also have um, this necklace. This is not pink, but they do offer it in pink. So this one is in black and white. Well, like um, it's not really black, but like, I don't know, dark um, and white. And I got this necklace off of Amazon. It was uh, like 15, 20, maybe $25, but no more expensive than that. It was super cheap. And they also have it in pink. So that's why I'm showing it to you. It's not pink, but, um, it goes along with that because it is really, really cheap, super cute statement necklace. I get like tons of compliments and they are real pearls. I have tested them. Um, cause you can do that. They're not super fancy ones, obviously, cause they're expensive. So they're like oddly shaped, but does it really matter? Not really. So that's a free thing I have that is like physical. I do want to throw out there some other things that I've been loving just in general in life. I've really been loving watching Friends reruns um, and not that I need to watch Friends reruns, but it's just so good. And I've actually caught a few episodes that I have not seen before. I watched them all on Netflix and I think I have like three or four left until the end of the series, which I'm kind of bittersweet about like what am I gonna watch next I don't know um and then also something new that I've been doing is playing tennis with my husband on the weekends we are not good but it is really really fun and then to kind of support that I've been going running which I never thought that I would do so if you have any running or tennis tips or ideas for what I should watch next please leave those down below and let me know what your favorite things for teaching or teacherpreneur stuff or just lifestyle in general, what your favorite things have been this spring. I would love to interact and know what you've been loving. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this video at all. And again, I'm going to link everything that I can down below in the description and have a wonderful, wonderful week.